Hey guys, welcome to another month of my creative year. So this month for July, we are um, working with Pick Your Own Palette. So I want you this month to start the month with, I want you to find a palette of colors that interests you and excites you. And I want you to share said palette in the Facebook group. We are gonna create a photo album for you to do that in. And um, I want everybody to uh, post their pictures in that photo album and create sort of, each of you create sort of a mood board or go find a uh, paint palette inspiration photo on Pinterest or something. And I want you to post it in the photo album. I created these last year and I think I posted some of them on Facebook, but I don't, I mean on YouTube, but I don't remember. I know I posted them on social media. So for years I'd been collecting different photos for inspiration and I used to keep them in, well, hang on, I can show you what I used to keep them in. Because I still have one um, because it was just easier to keep this one in here than to create the new book with it. Um, so this is my people book and I say photos from, can you see that? I say photos from magazines and my family these two people right here, these are my parents. And um, I use them as inspiration. That's my dad from high school. I use them as inspiration for face shapes and features and shading and lighting and contour um, when I'm painting. And so I have a whole book of those. So I had like one for people, one for landscape, one for animals. And so the people one is really the only one I need like that. And again, this is just a simple notebook from the, the you know, office supply store and they're just taped in with scotch tape. Um, but I wanted to go a little further with some of the pictures and create sort of custom color palettes. So I took photos uh, and I took them out of the book they weren't in and then I took the photo and taped it in and then it's colors inspired by that photo and created a palette and I wrote down what the colors of paint were that I used exactly and then put a swatch. And sometimes, like in this page, there's three photos I thought worked well together, not only compositionally, is that a word, compositionally, um, but with the colors. And I also blended the colors on a piece of spare packaging material and made a, uh, you know, a stamp with it to see what the colors would look like sort of next to each other and blend, semi-blended. And I have, let's see, this is animals and insects, and I have... Um, this is just color inspiration. So photos here like this one, and I, um, fo single photos or groups of photos, I thought the colors were just very inspirational. So I want you to find something like this. I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to share it in the Facebook group. If you have books like this, I want you to flip through them and I want you to pick a photo that you're gonna be inspired by the colors in it this month. And I want you to share that picture. Um, and let's see where we go from there. Initially, I want you to just figure out, I want you to select some colors. I don't want you to feel like you're limiting yourself, but I want you to select some colors to be inspired by. Maybe you're going to, like last time, last month, select a muted palette or a neutral palette, like maybe some just basic like grays, whites, um, maybe a little bit of uh, muted purple, and you're gonna use that as the base for colors during the month, but you can add other colors to it. You can just use it as something to be inspired by. But whatever it is, I want you to paste something, and it can be more than one, it doesn't have to be one. I want you to create a, a album, or add photos to the album we're gonna create, and I want you to um, inspire yourselves and other people. Maybe you're gonna post a photo um, and that you think you're gonna be inspired by, but then you see somebody else's, maybe it works with what you originally posted, maybe it doesn't, and you're just gonna completely go off and use theirs, that's okay. And I want you to share in the group what you're creating with this inspiration and what kind of materials you're pr pulling together from this inspiration, whether it's paint or collage or fabric or um, anything, it could be anything. Let's not limit ourselves to paint and drawing. Um, as you all know, I've been, hold on, I know it's up close up my eye, my gray roots. Um, I've been working on slow stitching. This is the fabric book I am still working on um, that I started with Ann Brook from Ann Brook Textile Artist YouTube channel. And um, this was um, initially inspired the colors by our muted palette from last month. But you can see I'm adding a, pops of, you know, 
uh, pretty tur tealy, turquoisey blue colors in there. So while you're inspired by the muted palette, you know, that doesn't mean you can't add other things in. So I want to see where you go with this this month. Of course, like last month, I'll bring one or two more videos to you um, sometime during the month. But I want to see what you're doing. And don't be afraid to ask questions in the group. We would love to uh, see what you're thinking and start a conversation. That's it for right now. If you're finding this on YouTube and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, My Creative Year is a Facebook group um, for artists and creatives, and we encourage daily um, practice and creativity and encourage asking questions and learning. It's a safe place to create art and learn more about the practice of art. And um, if you'd like to join, the uh, link is in the video description. Um, I would, I and the other teachers in the group would appreciate supporting the free content we provide, not only on YouTube, but in the Facebook group. Um, for me, I have an Etsy shop and an Amazon affiliate link and a PayPal tip jar and Patreon and all that stuff. So pick one. Um, and the other teachers have like, um, things. So there, um, if you can't figure out how to support them, ask, we're happy to answer your questions. And most of your favorite creatives on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups all have ways to support. So I know they'd appreciate it, especially right now. Um, so don't forget the most important thing, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.